Alright boys, welcome back to the channel. Let's take a look at this week's Nighthood boss, Kelak. Uh, the teams everyone are using is pretty much the same. As you can see at the top, this was the team I used the first time. But don't try that team out, it's a bit too difficult with that team. So instead of um, Skadi, just put Light Liz. So the first team, like I said, is this team. Like Liz is on HP defense, Diane is on HP defense, Matrona is on HP defense, and Margaret is also on HP defense. We just have CC card set and HP food. You have to clear with all female heroes, that's why we're using this team. You have to attack 10 times with attribute advantage, that's why you have blue Matrona and blue Margaret. This is the easiest team, if you can just make this team, make this one, it's the easiest to clear it with. And the fastest. So if you just want to get a 9k score, just make this team. Of course you do need blue Matrona's Holy Relic. Without it will also work, but it will be a bit more difficult. You will do less damage with the Giants. Of course first turn you always taunt with the end. And as you can see, I used the three attacks with attribute advantage first. And then you just hope to get more of those attacks. We were lucky, we got two more. The second turn you always want to cleanse. But because we have red Tarmia link on the end, you only need it the second turn and then it's good. And then you try to get the rank three buff from now on for the last phase. So here we already attacked five times with attribute advantage, pretty good. We got a lot of attacks from the attribute advantage units, very good, you just gotta be lucky, that's it. If you're lucky enough, you could do it in one go. So here, let's do this, use these three attacks, so we have already eight, two more to go. The team is pretty strong, as you can see we almost killed here. Don't worry about the ultimate on phase 1, it won't do any damage. But on phase 2 it might do a lot of damage, so you gotta be careful for that. Okay, let's do this here. Taunt, and then... Will this kill? Nah, I'm just gonna use the ultimate. Here we just have to attack one more time with attribute advantage and then we did it. Pretty good. Phase 2 might be trouble because he debuffs you constantly and he will do extremely high damage with the AoE once you're debuffed. So here let's do, let's clear the final mission. Okay, it's done. And now let's just try to kill within the eight turns. Should be possible. Okay, we got the rank two buff. So I think I'm gonna use that one. To get the high points you need rank 3 buff skill from Margaret uh, phase 2. Okay, instead of ranking up the Margaret buff I'm gonna use only one. And then attack 3 times. Because I was not sure if I would kill, I just didn't use the ultimate from Diane yet. I'm gonna use it on the last phase. Damn, I think I would have killed. So unfortunate. Yeah, I would have killed. Okay, that's really unfortunate, guys. I would have gotten more points if I would have killed here. Very annoying. But yeah. Doesn't matter. Let's just kill next phase and we will still have over 9k score. 
But if you can kill very fast and with the rank 3 Margaret buff, you can get like 13 to 14k score. 13k if your box CC isn't the highest and 14k when you got high box CC. But I think this one is still gonna be around 11k. This wasn't the perfect run, I should have killed the previous turn, but yeah, still good. 11.7k, almost 12k, and it was a pretty bad run, so pretty crazy. Okay, next team, instead of Matrona, if you don't have Matrona ranked up, and you do have blue Elet ranked up, just use her. And Elet's passive won't work here, because we don't have um, a red, green and blue chapter on the field. So it's only her Holy Relic. Basic stat card set for goddesses and HP food. Of course, we got the two blue units for 10 times attribute advantage. But you might not be able to kill within eight turns. Everyone is on HP defense to have the most HP possible. But again, with this team, you might have to try several times to get your clear. So if you could make the previous team, just make that one. It's the best team and the easiest to do the quickest. But this team is a lot harder. This is my, I think, 12th time trying with this team. So I hope this time it's gonna work. I was trying to get the perfect run, but now I'm just gonna do a run, a normal run and see what points I get. With this team, you will probably not be able to do it within the eight turns, so you won't have that mission done. But still, you, you can be able to get over 90 score if you get the rank three Margaret buff. So very important. And with this team, you want to use the ultimate from Elat just before you move to phase two. As you can see, first turn, of course, the end taunts for two turns. And we start attacking with the attribute advantage. And then you just hope for a rank 3 single target from Light Liz for the last phase. And also, of course, the ultimate proc from Elat, like I said. And maybe even the ultimate from Margaret as well. And also the, the ultimate from Diane to kill and to heal the team fully. But this team is really annoying. If you want to retry 20 times, okay, you can use this team, but... Yeah, to get high points, you need to have the perfect run. And with this team, it's weird, but it's like you won't get that many Margaret buffs. This time, luckily, we already have a rank 2, but still. I just hope we get a rank 3 debuff card from Margaret for the last phase to get the high points, because... I don't think we can get over 9k score without clearing it within the 8 turns, without having the rank 3 Margaret buff, so... If you want to get high points, you will have to kill within the 8 turns and do all the missions, also the attacking with 10 times with attribute advantage. Pretty annoying, so in my opinion, not the greatest team, but it's possible with this team, so that's why I'm still including it in this video. As you can see, it took a long time defeating phase one with this team. And phase two is a lot more tanky. Pretty annoying. So here, let's do this and work on the Elat alt. Try to do some damage already on turn one, phase two. And then next turn, we're gonna go for the Elat alt. So we can use it and have debuff immunity again because once you get debuffed on phase two especially with this team if you get debuffed you will get one shot turn two or turn three with uh, the aoe from the enemy so yeah very annoying i hope this time we can get over 9k score 
because I'm done with this team. Okay, let's get Elat Alt next turn because I see we still have one turn left, so. Okay, pretty good. I think this is the eighth turn, so. I think I'm not able to kill here. Very annoying. So I'm gonna get the Elat alt instead. But yeah. This was the eighth turn, I think. So that mission we couldn't clear. Damn, we would have killed, I think. Okay, we got a rank 3. Finally, a rank 3 buff card from Margaret. This is the 12th time I tried this. And it's only this time I got the rank 3 Margaret buff. So annoying. Okay, let's do this and then use this. Let's see if we can kill here. I don't think so. But the points should be enough. So let's see. Come on. <laughs> it didn't even kill. Almost 500k didn't even kill. So yeah, next turn we're gonna kill. So annoying. We don't have the DN ultimate either. So yeah. Nighthood boss can be really annoying. I got 10 million bucks, you see all of these units are 6-6. All the cosmetics maxed out. Maxed out gear sets. I don't understand, how is this possible that it's so hard? I can understand free to plays are having a difficult time with this. Let's clear this. So yeah. Let's see the points. Yeah, finally, 9.5k. We didn't clear it within the 8 turns, but still we got 9.5k. So you really need the rank 3 Margaret buff and the highest uh, HP possible when you finish. Okay, the last team is this team with Elat, Green, Liz, Red Demon Derrieri, and Blue Margaret. We just have CC card set and HP food. Everyone is on HP defense except Derrieri. She's on attack crit. I'm just gonna try and kill as fast as possible. And I think it will be enough if we can kill with having the most HP on all our units. In my opinion, the best thing to do with this team is first turn go for the Liz ult. So you can uh, work on all the other ults, especially the Derrieri ult. Gonna move once with the cleanse card from Elat, then cleanse, then use the ult from Elizabeth. So we get the uh, ult from Elat. Very important with this team. You always have need to have the ult from Elat procced. That's why we're using Green Liz to keep healing and giving everyone the ults. And now what is very important. Once you got the Elat ult and you use it, you have to use one card from Derrieri every turn. So each turn use or an attack skill from Derrieri or her buff card. So you can work on her passive, so with her ultimate she will do extremely high damage. Luckily we did get another attack card from Derrieri. I think we can already kill here with Derrieri. Let's see how much damage will she do. Let's first heal. Yeah, 
As you can see, I'm not working on a mission to attack with attribute advantage. This team can do it without that, so... I think this team is a pretty good uh, replacement team if you don't have the other first team. 1.3 million, pretty good. I think she only had, what, like 5 stacks? So pretty good damage. Luckily, we did get other cards from Darieri. But, like I said, we have to work on the ultimate from Derieri and also from Elad, so... Um, I'm gonna do this. This turn. And then, next turn, let's get the Lizalt and the... Uh, and use one Derieri buff. Then we got another buff. That's good. We will surely kill with the ultimate from Derieri. 100% Okay Now Let's get the ult from Light Liz And use one debuff card from Derieri Because it's very important to use them uh, Or an attack card or a buff card from Derieri each turn To keep working on our passive So if you don't have one card each turn You might be screwed so again, it's all about card luck, which cards you get. Okay, let's get the ult from Elat and Derieri. And of course use the buff card from Derieri to keep working on her passive. I think she's max passive. So the ultimate is really gonna do a lot of damage, around 2 million, I think. Okay, let's do this. And then next turn, I think we kill. Pretty fast clear. But uh, like you see, you need to get lucky with the cards. If you don't get enough cards from Derieri, you won't do enough damage with the ultimate, so... Okay, uh, this is dangerous. We didn't have the, the ultimate proc from Elat. Luckily, it didn't do a lot of damage, so... Let's just use the ultimate from Ila just to be sure. Then use the buff, one attack card and the ultimate and I think we should kill here. Come on. Let's see the damage. This is such an old unit but I think most of you got there. Okay, let's see. Does she kill? 2.4 million. Nice. Okay, let's see the score. Did we manage to get over 9k? Yeah, 9.6. Okay, perfect. As you can see, we didn't clear with attacking with the attribute advantage. So we missed out on 25% score, guys. So I think the score would have been like 12k, 12.5 even, if we did all the missions. So yeah, that was it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Please like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. See you next time. Peace out.